write a while loop in the test stand that's the one we are uh, going to do that i'm just uh, open a, a simple test stand code and maybe i'm going to define some parameters in the beginning like um, uh, I, um, it's, uh, ra rather than just like going for a how to do the loop i'm just going for some real examples like uh, calculating the power by using electrical voltage and current and also the uh, by using the value m cp uh, specific heat and uh, change in temperature so this the uh, two way we can just calculate the uh, power of the system so what are the power we can calculate the we can uh, calculate the power of um, electrical and also the uh, we can calculate power of mechanical and uh, just for the uh, getting a, a start in the loop i just like going to uh, define a just normal power and uh, maybe normal power maybe i would say my normal power value is 20 or we can just define there that also i can show you um here what we can do that just insert the steps and um, a statement the statement i just going to define the power condition i would say initially when i start the system what was my power so i just lift it up so I go for a normal power so before i start the system i have um, some 10 or something uh, 10 kilowatt was my power then uh, i directly going to implement the uh, while loop over here so flow control and uh, while loop perfect so the while loop we can just like uh, make a condition so i already bought the i so uh, i insert k instead of that so what here i'm going to do the uh, making a condition my power is less than my electrical power so what's the what i'm going to do that my power which i define is less than my electrical power is voltage into current and that's like uh, my power and it's like a multiple condition we can add over here that um, my k value less than zero uh, so less than uh, three maybe for for example i would say so these are the my two conditions so what happened that if if i calculate the my voltage and current i didn't define the voltage and current maybe voltage and current is five into uh, maybe voltage is five is very low i would say 20 and um, this uh, some kind of 10 so a little bit higher uh, so 200 is my uh, electrical power so if if i say my electrical power uh, and my power condition i define power is 10 so definitely it will satisfy and get into the loop then i would say um, i will add one pop-up here and um, maybe my while condition satisfied then i just um, go for a if loop just like getting a better understanding uh, some of some more loop i can add so if loop i would say my i define k so i just start with uh, k value so i just say k equal to zero Perfect. So then it's uh, ended to there, and I add one statement over there that calculating the <coughs> if my condition. So like uh, if the first iteration we have to calculate the electrical power. How we calculate the electrical power is just a multiplication of um, uh, voltage and current. We all know. So equal to sorry uh, voltage multiplied by current perfect so this is the one i'm going to add and maybe i just um, make a message pop up to to display that one uh, what's my electrical power so that's the one i want to add here that my power electrical so i calculated that i just want to display that 
so power electrical is that's a your message this um, pop up so my power electrical is that's the one is coming here perfect even we can uh, type a backslash n and uh, definitely we have to add sta string because um, we can't uh, type the number over here so we just like uh, add as a string so perfect then so what what we're gonna do that in the first stage power electrical will be uh, the uh, the voltage in the current if so like a going with the first loop k equal to zero and i just go for uh, and calculate this one and um, i just like uh, add one else statement over there to to calculate the mechanical power so in this statement i add a function in this function i calculate p mechanical and p mechanical is just like um, calculating if it's just like a oil loop system we calculate mcp delta t that uh, mass and um, cp is uh, specific heat and uh, change in temperature change in temp we don't have the value for any everything so maybe i <coughs> uh, it's a 5 kilogram is the system and 1.4 sorry so uh, yeah 1.4 and uh, some temperature is uh, i said 25 then then i can calculate all these values over here perfect um again i just uh, want to display this one so message pop up we have plenty of way to display the system but i've just uh, add one of the easiest one so what what i'm going to do that P mechanical I just add over here plus str and um, this is by P mechanical uh, mechanical power is so that's pretty everything there and um, after the loop I increment the value um, again an expression for increment that um, my k should be increase either we can add plus plus or equal to or plus one uh, both are okay uh, now let's see what the logic is look like that power uh, is 10 in the beginning then uh, check this condition for while that power uh, is less than the electrical power or less and also k less than 3 then uh, if uh, then it's getting to the loop and if k is equal to 0 then calculate the electrical power and display then go on increment and one more time then the next time the k value is 1 so this condition is not satisfied then go to the else statement so instead of electrical power we calculate mechanical power and display that value then come and k equal to 3 then again calculate the mechanical power so uh, then it's come out and um, that's uh, three times the loop will run so maybe let me yeah we can just go for straight away so right now i'm going to run the system okay then I would say power then uh, what we have to do that while condition satisfy they just like a uh, give a message pop up the while condition is um, k less than 3 so in the beginning we define k equal to 0 and um, the this power is 10 and we calculate v and i is some kind of 200 or something like that so it's definitely higher so this condition will satisfy then the second one is get into the if loop condition because k equal to 0 in the beginning then uh, P is equal uh, is calculate the mechanical uh, electrical power because the first condition so electrical power is 200 then um, you just come to the next loop that I would should have to make a, a stop there so right now you just come into the second loop and k equal to 1 so this condition is not satisfied so it's coming to this stage and um, calculating the mechanical power that is 175 and it says come out the loop and if i just go for a one more round then what's going to happen that k is equal to um, 0 1 2 that's the third iteration so that also this condition is not satisfied so coming to here the calculate this p mechanical one more time 
So P mechanical is 175. Then we uh, come out from the uh, loop. So test it, uh, test it satisfied.